QS200 means stands for quick screen. Okay, so the, this machine is the uh, three points, three new major points we have. One point is the uh, image area. Is the uh, uh, exposure image area much wider than the uh, Goku Pro 100? And the second thing is the uh, print precisely position. Precise position is the uh, we can print on the screen like that. Over there, you can see, even though four color, five color, and full color, uh, in this uh, multi color printing uh, can be print. Third one, okay, uh, this is a very uh, reliability and uh, also the uh, very durability. Our master film is the, you can see this, this one is the film over there. Is the, our uh, dedicated film is the, uh, can be print uh, to on the automatic carousel. Is the, you can see all over the, this show. Is the, very easy and also the quick release is the mega. And what are some of the other features of this machine? Okay, yeah, Goku Pro uh, exposes an image by thermal technology. Therefore, it doesn't use immersion or uh, chemical liquid, but uh, wash out water to make an exposure screen. So Goku Pro series is really environment friendly. And in addition to that, Goku Pro is compliant to the two major world safety standards both the UL standards and also EU safety standards. Uh, safety of the Goku Pro is guaranteed by authorized agencies. And I saw the results of the printing on this machine. We're going to bring in Ted Irving now to show us a little bit more about what it can do. Okay, so Ted, tell us about the QS200. Okay, Nikki. We're very excited about this new product. It's the first time that we can do a thermal screen on a pre-stretched frame. And in the last 20 years of been selling thermal screens, one of the issues has been registration. Now we can take this image or this mesh, put it on a Newman roller frame and stretch it to 20 Newtons and get accurate registration for multicolor printing. Okay, so let's see how it works. Okay, I'm gonna lay this down on our new thermal printer. Place it down. We use these magnets just to keep everything lined up perfectly. And then we go over here and we hit uh, the print button. And it goes to a, a, a print manager. And so any software is going to work. Corel, Adobe, a Word document, anything you want to send to it, it's going to work just like a normal printer. So we just hit print. And now the image is going to be loaded onto the uh, thermal head. And it will take about two minutes for the image to be exposed. The image size is 16 by 24, and we can put frames up here that are 23 by 30. Um, we do have different mesh counts. We have a 70 mesh, a 120, and a 200 mesh count, so we'll probably add to that down the road. And is this a special mesh that you're using, or is it normal? It is a thermal screen. The mesh comes in a roll that's 42 inches wide. You can get two screens across. In a roll, you get about 150 screens if you're using an 18 by 24 frame. Okay. Tell me some of the other features that uh, this machine, why it's so efficient and, and the capability of it. Well, with thermal screen technology, the, the beauty of it, there's no chemicals. So we don't have to wash the screens out, no water, no emulsions, no dark room. We're ready to go. This is the footprint. You have a table right here, a little four foot table, a press and a dryer, and you're in business. So, it, it literally, to just the basic eye, just looks like it's just careening over the, the screen and leaving like a laser mark on it, and it's so precise. It is very precise. The, this thermal head is four inches, and what it can do is make four passes to open up the screen. Being a heat-sensitive uh, coating on the screen, it activates with the thermal screen to open up, and in about two minutes' time, as you see, we have a finished product. Okay, so let's go ahead and take it out and see the finished product. Okay, well, Take it over here to the press and we'll print it. Okay. We have these screens already loaded that was uh, exposed to just a little bit earlier. One of them being the same image that we just exposed. And we got a three color that's perfectly lined up. So let me show you how that works for you. We'll lay the first color down. We're just gonna dry it real fast. The neat thing about the, the thermal screens uh, with this new QS200 uh, uh, thermal screen maker is the tension. 
and we can get up to about 20 newtons on a screen, whether we use a regular conventional screen or the Newman rollers, or we even have a different kind of screen where we can hand stretch it as well. Lay down the second color real quick. Dry that real fast. But the technology is wonderful. On the back side of this, when we're done, we can just take the screen out of the frame, throw it away, and no cleanup. So you don't have to worry about the chemicals, the emulsions, any washout. And the time saving is, is unbelievable. You know, I'm standing right next to this heater and a lot of the heaters are so hot that it just makes you sweat just standing right next to them. But this is really seems like it's concentrated to where it needs to go versus flying out everywhere. That is very true and, and we have this compact dryer that makes it very easy just to drop the shirt down when you're done. But here's our finished product. Look at that, looks great. great color, perfectly registered, ready to go. Perfect, let's uh, dry it up. And you can see some of the other samples that have been done with the thermal screens. Uh, that's process printing right there, which is uh, also new to the thermal screen making capability.